Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, this video is in response to a uh, viewer question. Um, I don't know if he wants me to say his name or who he is, so we'll leave that out. But um, he was asking about uh, making a paperclip rake and tensioner. Um, he said he's been trying to do this with a master lock 140 by unbending some paper clips and making a tensioner and a rake. Um, I replied to his comment and, and told him that I had no experience with this yet, uh, but if he wished for me to explore it with him, I asked him a couple of questions. He hasn't responded yet, but um, either way, I thought I'd give it a go and you know, see where, see where we can go. Um, so one of the first things is, this can be pretty lock dependent. Um, depending on the key bidding of the lock, uh, and what type of rake you make. With the master lock key I have that I featured in the, uh, my SPPing the master lock 140 video, um, the front pin is a zero lift pin. Um, so you only have to get, you only have to rake the back a couple of, a few pins. And so uh, the key bidding makes a difference whether your your rake is, your uh, lock is rakeable or not, especially when using a paper clip that is thin enough to go in the lock. Um, if there was wild key bidding on this, if you know these, there was a, a really low cut here in the back followed by a higher cut, and another low cut, you may not be able to rake at all. If it was flatter bitted uh, all the way across, a, a double peak rake like this might not work at all. You might need a quad peak rake or a quint peak or a quint rake um, something like that but what I did because this is again it can be very lock dependent and I don't know what his key looks like um, I know that this double peak rake works in this lock so I basically I just kind of I don't have any need most pliers they might have been easier um, but I just took a pair of pliers and I bent this paper clip up into a little rake like that and I bent a paper clip over I unfolded it and then at one of the ends where it was still bent I just squeezed it together so it laid across itself and I bent it in half and I was able to, to, to get it open. Um, it wasn't as easy as this, but uh, it still worked. So um, I'm gonna put the rake in first because it is it is a little tighter fit in there with this with the paper clip for the tensioner. Um, hopefully it works again. But we're gonna give it a little go. And we got it open with that. Again, this is this is very lock specific as well. Um, this is a newer Master 140. I don't know if this would work on an older Master 140. Um, I'm pretty sure the older ones had a spool pin in them. I'm not. I don't believe this one does. If it does, it it might be, you know, it might not come into play, or it might be that front pin that's a zero lift. Um, but anyway, I thought that was. That was a uh, interesting question that he asked, and I had never tried this before, so I thought I would give it a go. And if anybody has any questions or comments, please let me know. And uh, the viewer that asked the question, um, if you if you watch this and uh, you know you want any more examples or you know any other help, uh, let me know, and we'll see if we can help you out. Thank you. See you in the next one.